This is super random and it is total just out of the blue. Didn't expect to do this. I just saw everybody on Twitter talking about X-Men 97. I'm like, X-Men 97? I'm like, is that the old X-Men? But I'm not sure if it's, it's got remade or remastered. I'm not sure exactly what it is. But a lot of people are talking about it. I was like, yo, let's see what the hype is about. So we're about to watch X-Men 97. Apparently it's a continuation of the final events of X-Men the animated series. The series begins after the death of the X-Men founder, Dr. Charles Xavier. Okay, let's do it. Not sure what to expect. I always love this opening though. This is a continuation, Gambit. Jubilee. I used to watch this back in the day, but I've never actually sat down and watched like, you know what I'm saying? So it says a continuation. Okay, so it's continuing the story, but it has like a old charm to it. So is this, I guess that's intentional. That's crazy. I'm Roberto da Costa, heir to the da Costa fortune. Money's not an issue. Beauty thinks it's about cash. Funny. What's this freak's trick? Kid didn't even try to use his powers. Hear that, Beauty? So long as that collar stays on. It has that old 90s charm to it. One of the good ones. A good mutant? Now that is rich. I am begging you. I didn't ask for this, okay? Ain't that the rub? And that's the rub. Grab a sentinel blaster. I am scored. I was about to say, there's only one person it could be. Surrender the boy or face my fury. Okay, dark skin queen. Then you are a fool. Whole announcement stick didn't go over so well. The new bishop was striving to resolve matters peacefully. Real peaceful storm. Keep shooting, Bob. I don't remember Bishop, not gonna lie. Get X-Men are like roaches. Damn. One more are coming. Cyclops? Yep. Cyclops was my favorite back then. With Wolverine. Name Cyclops. Definitely the good guy. Hang tight. I don't know why he was my favorite. I think because he reminded me of Superman back in the day. Because he could blast it with his eyes, but it's, it's so simple. Oh, that's dope. I don't ever think, I don't remember Cyclops doing that back in the day. He used the laser to move. That's fire. Very creative. Damn. Gun like you, get your hands on Sentinel technology. But you freak shows think we wouldn't find a way to evolve too? Bex. Take his visor before he starts up again. No, not. Yeah, like. <laughs> okay, this is yeah, it's bringing back like this 90s nostalgia. Okay, man, this is not something I knew I needed, but I am here for it. Let's do it. The kid got home safe. These beignets needed me more than you did, mon ami. The friends of humanity had retrofitted sentinel weaponry. Do you have any idea what that means, Gambit? Means you get to howling like a lonely kettle left on a fiery stove. We've rodeoed more sentinels than I care to count. And Storm and Bishop are made of sterner stuff than you think. Rogue, the professor entrusted us with his dream of mutant-human coexistence, no matter how good things seem out there. Scott, while I trust that all my students would gladly die... Who the heck is this? ...dream of a better future, where both human and mutant live free of your total disdain for fun. Stop being a creep, Morph. Morph, okay. <laughs> Look like Cyclops about to have that stroke. Jean? Could have hurt someone. He doesn't care, Jean. I don't know. Oh, she's pregnant. Him or Wolverine. Oh, can everyone just please behave? Probably Wolverine. After all, and we need to be role models for our guest. That kid's our only lead to where those extremists got their hands on Sentinel tech. Ah. Uh. <laughs> That's a beast. Salutations and welcome. 
I'm blue, very blue. An astute observation, my boy. <laughs> or if you prefer my friendly nom de guerre, the spare at the foot of your bed is... Name's Jubilee. And dude, I get it. One day life's fresh, then the next day you're waking up to a blue monkey singing most of the with doohickeys. And this doohickey is an elegant piece of art capable of teleporting someone through time and space. How fares the boy? Besides a cavity in a layman's existential fear of metaphysics, Mr. DaCosta here is in perfect health. I need to go. Where's my jacket? What is his power? Super expensive. Roberto, we can't let you go just yet. We're more interested in the weapons those creeps had. Giant arms. She's gonna realize the money can't get you out of everything. Did your attackers say anything about where they acquired it? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Today's been a day and you're coming at me with giant robot arms, so now you're kidnapping me. Kidnapping? We want to help mutants, even arrogant yuppies like you. Just give us the day to figure this out. Make sure you're safe and then you can go do whatever a kid like you does. They're concerned, that's all. Here besides listening to Mozart. Her image you really going to get along really well. Humanity's days are over. Magneto's still at it? On mutant human coexistence fly teleport shoot gold balls from your body that'd be weird the like is not even real you would turn your back on your own <laughs> better show me those powers you tough guy seriously girl get the life <laughs> show the lady some respect oh so scary jubilee can we stop now computer and program <laughs> <laughs> Wolverine. You asked, Charles Xavier was a dear friend of mine. It's why I urged the UN Council to work with the X Men. A little trust, Scott. Professor loved to say, trust happens when actions meet words. Cyclops out. Mm, God is like, he got stick up his butt, but I get it. Feels like he got he got to care a bit more than anybody else, or he does care a bit more. Explains your mood. Now, if he were here. The team wouldn't be shooting hoops while slime like the Friends of Humanity are running around with sentinel blasters. Remember when we were young and we'd sneak down to the lake instead of doing our danger room drills? And the professor would shout, your childish hijinks have cost you five demerits, young man. What's the point of being an X-Man if we're not allowed to enjoy our lives? Whoa, whoa, I did not sound like that. Those days have been on my mind a lot lately, darling. You and I alone. Our whole future ahead of us. God, I didn't think about that. There'll always be family, but with the baby coming, maybe it's time to think of a life beyond the X-Men. Yeah, like, what are you talking about? It's like you said, Scott. What have we been fighting for all these years if not the chance to finally live our lives? The X-Men need us here. The team will be fine. Our son will need us more. It's okay for you to let go. <laughs> what the heck? here scared roberto off what if those creeps with the sentinel gizmos find him logan take that nose of yours and go find the kid and take jubilee all of you could stand to act a little more like x-men go with them hey now we didn't do a dang thing gene may take the boy scout routine summers but i don't much go in for being bossed around fry me a river wolverine mm. find roberto please He's in love with Jean. What Gyrick did was pretty horrible. But want to know the worst part about the professor being gone? You. I know who we need to see to find Bolivar Trask. Damn. The man who killed Charles Xavier. What does that fit, Wolverine? But there are too many damn sets. Looks like we split up. Nice place to pass a good time. The heck? If I was down there and one of them brushed against my skin, my power sap and touch would leave him with a nasty hangover. Any worthwhile man would gladly suffer your hand in a dance. Hmm. Thought you were gonna slice Summer's head off back there. Let's just find this trust fund baby and get out of here, Morph. I know what's wrong. How? Why, I'm Jean Grey, humble telepath extraordinaire. You don't think they're leaving the team, Morph. Hmm. Wolverine very perceptive. Look at this dude. No, no, I'm not going back there. Torque. One dance. That'll come. Promise. What is this power? What? Beats that stuffy nation, right? Hey. 
At least they're not wasting time partying when they could be helping people. And waste the best years of my life in some bald guy's corny dream? Of course, Whoa. someone like you would find a little selflessness corny. Don't I know it, pup. FOH ran when they saw us coming. Dropped one of their little toys, too. Gray Cyclops by where these bad boys are coming from. Can't believe this fool really cost us the whole future. He still cost us enough. Why would I know where Trask is? You helped fund his Sentinel program. If you're talking, I get it down to ten. You mutants are moving up, making friends in high places. Though it's gotta hurt offering that deal to me. Those Sentinel upgrades really threw you. We merely hoped some humans had evolved beyond the past. Yet your cruelty has only made humanity more sympathetic to our cause. Mm. No, you're in vogue, Storm. A fad. Look at my mutant. But under all that fashionable sympathy, normal people know the more room we make for your kind, the less we leave for ours. Damn. But we know the naked truth. Tolerance is extinction. I won the day I shot the man you freak shows look up to. Damn. Can you get an A for effort, Mr. Summers? You're right. I'm not Charles Xavier. He'd reason with you, be patient, and do everything in his power to save you. Oh, Scott. From what? You? No. Oh. But have you met my wife? Hatred weakens your mind, Mr. <laughs> Get out of my head! One master hold is not enough. We need backups. Someone else! <laughs> Who's this someone else? <laughs> Who's about to say, is it because she's, cr she's pregnant? Is that weakening her powers? You think? Don't say not again. What? They put it on the Genji too. <laughs> Who's that? I'm here, Scott. I'm fine. Master Mold. We have to stop Trask now. Listen up, people. Gene's psychic scan placed Trask in the Sahara Desert. Fly into the coordinates, detain Trask. I say we skip detaining and mail Trask back to the UN in little pieces. Dismembering? Nah. Weight loss. We can be done by working together as a team. What would we do if we ever lost you? <laughs> Sentinels. Damn. Another catch the X Men day. Solid work, team. See you on the ground. Scott? That's clean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're like, ah, right, Scott, we gonna let you cook for right now. Even in prison, he has friends who know the mutant agenda must. You need to be put down. <laughs> Final warning, Trask. <laughs> he said you need to be put down. Back. Might I induce you to a change of heart? This is fire. Out of roots. Damn. Give him the forecast. Omega level bread, detective. Omega level. Yo, <laughs> the gas it. <laughs> they gas it, yeah. Storm always been fire. Give it a Wolverine. Ooh. Ooh. It's been a lot more uh, combination attacks this, uh, this first episode, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe I'm just forgetting. Hmm. She kind of bad. Your 
remind us that our days are numbered. I have no idea how it feels to be left behind by the few. Our special sciences division is flying in to dismantle Master Mold. Yet again, humanity is in the X-Men's debt. Class could rather humans and mutants go to war than work together. Thank you, Dr. Cooper. But to be honest, it was a team effort. The team's on their way back. Freedom! I mean, I'll get out of your hair. The team had saved me from Sentinels at the mall, but this place, a place where I could be me. Some sort of solar energy. Still figuring it out. Makes me strong, though. Really strong. Just reminds me Damn. of the difference. That I'm lying to them. Yeah, next man, Jubilee. I don't even want to be myself. What's your job? Hot and rich? Don't forget single. Page me. I got a jet, too. Maybe I'll even let you fly it. And she's like, man, I hit a jackpot. The responsibility to choose teams falls to team leader. I know I've been hard-headed lately. It's just... I didn't know how the X-Men could go on without the professor. Thought it was on me. With that said, Rick and Logan in the back. He's like, Dina All right. I have an announcement. You're Ooh. bailing on us to go raise your little one someplace nice and normal. Uh, Cyclops and Jean were the first X-Men. If they're gone, who the heck is gonna lead the team? Sensors show the intruder is breached the professor's old office. Who would that be? Charles Xavier was the finest man I knew. Magneto. Despite our differences. He never ceased to have faith in our friendship. That is why the old fool has done this. Magneto, what are you doing in our home? Your home? I beg to differ. The last will and testament of Charles Francis, as you all will see. Everything he built. Damn. Everything he you left for him? Belongs to me. Oh, man. My. X-Men. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, y'all. Let me know how you feel about it. Episode one. I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. Brought back nostalgia. Good story. Yeah. Yeah. Um, We'll see. We'll see.